Rain continues to come down. You're looking at downtown Palm Springs and it's soggy. We've gotten about a tenth of an inch of rain, so it's doubled in just the last hour. And you can see how windy it is as well. And right now the rain is working its way toward Palm Desert. You can see how ominous it looks and we're starting to see a little bit of that precip, but so far the road is dry and folks aren't uh, quite as wet. So it just hasn't rained very much there at South Palm Desert uh, on El Paseo, but there is rain up and down much of the valley right now. And then you work your way over the mountain, a lot of rain up in the uh, Santa Rosa's stretching down towards San Diego and it's moving up from that direction. We'll get a little break and then we're going to see some more rain moving through uh, as we move into the uh, latter part of this afternoon, early part of the evening. We're in the upper 60s and low 70s. The numbers have actually come down where the rain has started to move in. It's raining a little bit now in La Quinta and Indio and a good bit of rain uh, moving across much of the valley along with gusty winds. We are under a wind advisory until 10 o'clock tonight and the wind speeds certainly reflect that winds up in the 20 to 25 mile per hour range in most valley cities. Uh, and we've just popped up another flash flood warning. This one runs along Highway 62 as you work your way up out of Desert Hot Springs. This just occurred uh, and it stretches up close to the city of 29 Palms. So rain there is creating issues. Uh, we've got the wind advisory. We've got flood watches and flash flood watches, a high wind warning and a winter storm warning for the mountains as we continue to see the snow building up and it will get cold enough for that snow to stick as we move into the nighttime hours. Another band of showers headed toward us. Let's put it in motion. So we see as we move past the three o'clock hour, the precipitation thins out. But look at this band of showers moving toward us by about 5:30, 6 o'clock. We're going to start to see those move in and they'll linger through eight or nine o'clock in the hour in the evening hours. And that snow is going to stick around at the top of the mountains. In fact, we're going to see a couple of rounds of snow moving through in the overnight hours. So still a chance of showers even into the early morning hours for tomorrow before things start to thin out and we'll get rid of the precipitation. Could get a fair amount, uh, a quarter of an inch up to a half an inch of rain possible in the West Valley locations and a lot of snow in our mountains up around the five to seven inch mark up at Big Bear. And I think at the top of the tram, you're going to see a few inches of snow. It's just got to get a little bit cooler. First alert comfort air seven day forecast. Keep us under that weather alert through early tomorrow, certainly through our morning program. Uh, rain is going to continue off and on. We are going to see some heavier bands of showers this evening. Temperatures in the 60s tomorrow and Thursday, but sunshine on Thursday, Friday, Veterans Day, very comfortable. A few clouds, 70 will be in the low 70s for the weekend. So we've got a good looking forecast for the rest of the week. You can see some of that snow in the background there falling in front of those trees. So it is definitely a very active weather day out there, no matter what elevation you're standing at.